So there's a few other things relating to dual pole data, in this case HH and HV, that is uh, quite interesting and is helpful to understand how the uh, depolarization or the response of the targets with respect to the look direction occurs when the image is captured. So in this case I've zoomed out here to show the overview of the, uh, the data set that we're looking at, the Sentinel-1 data set. This is an ascending pass, so we can at any time we can right click on the properties here. Uh, Geomatica is quite good at capturing all the, the uh, information from the ephemeris uh, data that is provided with the sensor. So in this case we know that the look direction is to the right and uh, we also have the uh, capture time which is 2243 UTC so just before 6 p.m. local time in Montreal and uh, we have some other information available as I said we have an ascending pass so essentially what's happening is the the satellite is traveling in this direction towards from the south to the north and it's sending radar pulses out to the right and the responses that are coming back is how the image is formed. So if we look at this, uh, this, this urban area, this is the island of Montreal, and we see quite a bit of difference in terms of the response. Now if you recall, we have HH in the red, red channel, HV in the green, and HH once again in the blue. So things that are appearing in this sort of magenta color are predominantly providing backscatter in the HH channel. So there's more energy coming back in HH. The, uh, the HV is uh, predominantly looking green and things that are white are pretty even in both uh, polarizations. Now if we think about the look direction and the orientation of these targets with respect to that uh, particular satellite acquisition, we can of course understand that these areas are predominantly giving more backscatter in HH because of their orientation. So if we drew a right angle from the look direction over to the target, we would basically get a very strong bounce back towards the sensor because of the orientation of these buildings. We see that in multiple different places in this data set. Uh, for example, we see particular sections of neighborhoods that are just appearing brighter in HH simply because of their orientation with respect to the look direction um, and, and the acquisition. Now one, one particular example which I think really uh, describes this quite well is uh, the Olympic Stadium and a soccer stadium which is located right next to it. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like in Google Earth. So here we have the Olympic Stadium which is a, a dome-like feature. We have pretty much the same scattering that it's occurring around the uh, the edge. There's some, some uh, structures all around the edge so the radar energy is bouncing around and and giving responses and it, it's pretty even in both the HH and the HV uh, channels. So if we look at this particular feature here, this is a soccer pitch and you can see that essentially we have the, the look direction, the satellite is traveling in this direction and it's sending pulses out towards towards the, uh, the right. And so the pulses are hitting this big structure and they're bouncing back quite strong. So there, there's a lot of energy that's coming back that's that's actually showing a lot of response here in, in HH. So it makes sense that in HH we have quite a lot of response for this particular type of target because of its orientation once again. And this is almost like a radar trap, if you will. The radar energy is coming in here, it's bouncing around and it's reflecting quite brightly specifically in the HH uh, channel. So understanding these phenomena and uh, taking into account the fact that the Sentinel-1 sensor is an active sensor, it's uh, sending out radar pulses and we're listening for echoes and forming an image based on the interaction of that radar energy with the features on the ground is really going to be important to understand the types of features that we're observing, the changes on those features, and essentially uh, doing proper analysis with the data.